As reported by the UK Defence Journal on October 11, 2024, the British Ministry of Defence has reaffirmed the ongoing development of the Challenger 3 main battle tank, MBT program. This confirmation came in response to inquiries from Danny Kruger, MP for East Wiltshire, concerning the program's progress and its alignment with the Strategic Defence Review. Parliamentary Undersecretary for Defence Luke Pollard addressed these concerns, clarifying that the Challenger 3 is on track to achieve initial operating capability, IOC, by 2027, with full operating capability, FOC, anticipated by 2030. Pollard emphasized that the Strategic Defence Review seeks to synchronize future capability development with the UK's security needs. As part of this review, the Ministry of Defence will provide regular updates to key government figures, including the Prime Minister, the Chancellor of the Exchequer, and the Secretary of State for Defence, with a final report expected by mid-2025. This review will ensure that the UK's defence capabilities are future-proof to meet evolving security demands, with the Challenger 3 playing a crucial role in the modernization of the British Army's armoured forces. Developed by Rain Metal BAE Systems Land, RBSL, the Challenger 3 is not an entirely new vehicle but rather a significant upgrade to the existing Challenger 2 tanks. This modernization effort originated from the Challenger 2 Life Extension Program, LEP, which aimed to enhance the tank's mobility, lethality, and survivability for operational use well into the 2030s. The most notable improvement in the Challenger 3 is the integration of a new turret housing the 120mm L55A1 smoothbore gun, which replaces the Challenger 2's L30A1 rifle gun. The switch to a smoothbore system brings the Challenger 3 in line with NATO standards, improving its interoperability with Allied forces. However, this transition introduces the need for new ammunition, as the current Challenger 2 rounds are incompatible with a smoothbore gun. To address this, the UK is collaborating with Germany to develop a new enhanced kinetic energy, EK round, ensuring the Challenger 3 can operate effectively alongside Germany's Leopard 2 tanks. The Challenger 3 program has already hit several significant milestones. Pre-production units were delivered in early 2024, and live-firing trials commenced in Germany in April of the same year. The British Army will eventually receive a total of 148 Challenger 3 tanks, with the first units entering service by 2025. The overall project is estimated to cost approximately $1.17 billion and is expected to support around 300 jobs at RBSL's Telford facility, as well as 450 additional positions across the broader UK defence supply chain. The upgrades incorporated into the Challenger 3 are designed to address both current operational needs and future combat scenarios. Key enhancements include Digital Electronic Architecture Asterisk This system improves the tank's internal network, facilitating faster data transmission and better integration of subsystems. Third Generation Hydroga Suspension Asterisk This provides superior mobility, allowing the Challenger 3 to traverse challenging terrain more effectively. Enhanced Fire Control System Asterisk The new fire control system improves accuracy, especially when engaging moving targets, which is crucial in modern combat. Upgraded targeting systems asterisk the commander and gunner benefit from advanced thermal imaging, offering improved target detection in various battlefield conditions. Survivability remains a priority in the Challenger 3's design. The tank features modular armor upgrades and will integrate active protection systems, APS, building on successful trials conducted with the Challenger 2. During these trials, systems like the Rain Metal Rosie Rapid Obscurance System and MUS, multispectral screening smoke were tested which are likely candidates for integration into the Challenger 3. Additionally, the Challenger 3 retains the powerful Perkins CV-12-9A 26.1-liter V12 diesel engine, delivering 1,500 brake horsepower, alongside an upgraded David Brown Santa Salo TN54E transmission system. These systems ensure that the tank maintains the performance necessary for modern battlefield engagements. The Challenger tank series has a rich history, dating back to the original Challenger tank in World War II, followed by the Challenger 1 in the 1980s, and later the Challenger 2, which saw action during the 2003 Iraq War. The Challenger 3 continues this legacy, with its upgrades ensuring that the UK remains competitive in the realm of armoured warfare. However, the programme has not been without its challenges. In 2021, a report from the Defence Select Committee highlighted concerns over budget overruns and delays in the Challenger 2 Life Extension programme. Later that year, Defense Secretary Ben Wallace announced the decision to upgrade 148 Challenger 2 tanks to Challenger 3 models through an £800 million contract with RBSL. This contract cemented Rainmetal's role in providing the upgrade, 
including the crucial 120mm smoothbore gun. The Challenger 3 main battle tank represents a critical element of the UK's defense modernization strategy. With its advanced systems, NATO standard weaponry, and upgraded survivability features, the Challenger 3 ensures that the British Army will maintain a formidable armored capability well into the 2030s. As the UK continues to face evolving security challenges, the Challenger 3 will be a vital asset in safeguarding the nation's interests, aligning seamlessly with the outcomes of the ongoing Strategic Defense Review.